going home. I mean, it's been a great experience, but I can't wait to get into a hot bath. Oh, over here! Hurry, please, here! Oh, what on earth are they for? You. Uh. Oh, hey, he's got a uniform on. He's not doing... I didn't know you were invited to Jake and Amanda's wedding. Looks like a good time. Yeah. So, who are you going with? I'm gonna go sag. Or whatever you call it for women. Any chance I could change your mind? What about casual? Weddings aren't exactly casual. What are you talking about? We would just be saving gas, the whole environmental thing, that's all. On top of that, weddings are bad enough going along, having to sit through you know, the speeches and the toasts and the pictures. Man, the dancing. And dancing, please. No more dancing. But if I do have to, it would be nice to have a partner that I'm actually comfortable with. With a bum knee? We'll use that as an excuse. It's perfect. OK. I'm in. Great. Um, but won't Greenlee be there? Yeah, she will. So won't that be a little bit weird? Not for me. And you're absolutely certain. All right. No, I understand. It's just that it's OK. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. It's nothing. Looks like leads on Erica. Yep, leads that didn't pan out. Where's Cedar Grove? It's in West Virginia. I use the database at PVH to access the names and numbers of every hospital administrator within 300 miles of Pigeon Hollow. I've been going down the list, discreetly asking about any crash victims that may have come in recently. So you do think that Erica's plane went down? I didn't say that. Relax, Greenlee. Don't worry, Greenlee. It's all crap. You're just as freaked out as I am. All that stuff about Erica being fine, hiding out, planning her next move, you were just telling me that to make me feel better. Do you really think that she... I don't know! All right? I don't know! But God forbid her plane did crash and Erica somehow survived, I'm gonna find her. I'm gonna do everything I can. All this time you've been telling me that she's fine, that everything's gonna work out the way we planned. And it still might. How? You think that Erica is dead? because you tried to ground her plane. What do you want me to say? I just want you to be honest. I don't want you to try to make me feel better. I don't want you to tell me some story. Ah, all the, our relationship is about trust, and, and all this time you've been telling me that everything is fine, when really, and you knew it wasn't. Or maybe you think that it is. Maybe ending some, someone's life doesn't bother you at all. How, David, how is it possible that you could have murdered Erica and you feel nothing? I have been trying so hard to stay strong for you, to protect you, to keep you from worrying. I want to fix this. I'm going to try to fix this. But if I can't. Do you believe Erica is dead? I already lived the glamorous life with my uncle. Yeah, but I can never fully enjoy it. I mean, with Adam, you're useful until you're no longer useful. Oh, I'd give him a little more credit than that. I might give you the credit. If it weren't for you, I would be separated from my daughter right now, and I would probably be living on the streets somewhere. 
You gave me hope against God. Thank you. You will find that safe, happy place that you and Emma are looking for, that you deserve, with the right man by your side. Annie is a deeply disturbed individual. She is a two-faced manipulative. And that should be enough to get you started. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Oh, Karen Kelly. She's a business reporter. She had some questions about Chandler for her blog. Really boring stuff. Huh. Yeah. One last thing. Annie was at Oak Haven, right? Right. You weren't talking to her about Chandler. You were talking to her about Annie. Scott's running my father's company. If he's hooking up with that psycho and she's influencing his decisions, the business world has a right to know. I mean, it would be irresponsible. It would be downright criminal not to disclose that. So you were really talking about Chandler? Of course. You're right. It is boring. You should have told her you slept with Annie. That's juicy stuff.